Hi everybody, it is time for math. Now that we are starting a new unit, I thought we could review all the ways we know how to count. So the first way we're gonna do it is one to 100, okay? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Awesome job. Now we're going to do tens to 100. So we're going to count by tens to 100. It's a little bit quicker. Ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. All right, now we're gonna do twos to 20. Okay, so twos to 20, ready? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Good job. All right, our last one, fives to 20, ready? Five, 10, 15, 20. Awesome job. So today we're gonna keep on practicing what we've been doing for a while, and that is adding. But today we're gonna add using objects. So what I need you to grab is 11.1 .1 worksheet and a pencil and two colored crayons. They have to be two different colored crayons, okay? So I'm gonna share my screen while you guys get that supplies. Okay, let's share it. Okay, so as you can see, we are going to be using objects to solve our math problems. So, uh, directions say write the missing numbers to complete the statement. Okay, so as you can see in the first problem, we have two different types of candy. We'll call these ones gumballs and these one gumdrops. Sound good? So gumballs and gumdrops. So first, what we're gonna do is count how many gumballs we have. Ready? I wanna hear you guys do it with me. One, two, three, four. So we have four gumballs. Let's write four on the line with our pencil. Okay, now we're gonna count how many gumdrops. Ready? One, two, three. How many gumdrops? Three. So you write three on the line. Now what they want us to do is to figure out how many gumballs and gumdrops we have all together. So there's a few ways to do it, but I think the easiest way is just to count the objects, okay? So we're just gonna count the objects, ready? I wanna hear you guys with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So four and three make what? It makes 
seven. Awesome job. So I write seven on the line. Okay. I want you to do the next one by yourself, but let, listen to the instructions. So first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna count the cotton candy. Then you're gonna write that number on the line. Next step, count how many lollipops. Put that number on the second line. Then you're gonna count how much cotton candy and lollipops are all, all together, then write that number on the line. Okay, so I want you to try it by yourself. So I'm gonna pause the video, and when you are ready, you can restart the video. Okay, let's check if you guys got it right. And is it okay if you got it wrong? Did you try your best? That's all that matters. So what they want us to do, we gotta figure out how many pieces of cotton candy are here. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. So how many cotton candy pieces are there? There is five. So you write five on the first line. Okay. I'm getting better at writing on the computer. <laughs> All right, next one, we gotta figure out how many lollipops there are. Ready? One, two, three, four. So there are four lollipops on in this problem. So we're at four on the line. Now what they want us to do is figure out how much candy is all together. So the cotton candy and the lollipops together. So let's count, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're gonna write nine on the line. Oop. Let me fix, see, I made a mistake and I'm going to erase it because I want to try that again. All right, nine on the line. That's as good as it's going to get because it's on a laptop. All right, so that was the first part. Now the second part, it says the directions. Illustrate your own picture and write the total. So what it wants us to do, it wants us to draw two different objects for the numbers. So let's do, I'm gonna do triangles and squares. Okay, sound good? So for the, fir the first number, I'm going to do squares. So how many squares, how many squares am I going to draw? Let's look at the first number. I'm going to draw six squares. So I got one, two, three, four, five, and six. So let me just make sure, you always wanna double check. Let's see if I have six squares. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I have six squares. Now the next object I'm gonna do is triangles. How many triangles am I gonna draw in this picture? I'm going to draw two triangles. So let me go one. Oop, I'm going to try that again. Okay. One and two. Now they want us to figure out the total or how many objects there are all together. So let's count all my squares and all my triangles. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have eight objects in total. So on this line, I'm going to write the number eight. Okay, so what I want you to do for the bottom question, I want you to also use squares and triangles. So the first number is going to be your squares, the second number is gonna be your triangles, and then you're gonna count how many squares and triangles you have all together and write that number on the line. I want you to try and do the best you can, okay? So I'm gonna pause the video, and then when you are ready, you can restart the video. All right, let's check your answers. So, how many squares am I going to draw for this problem? 
how many squares? That's right, I'm gonna draw nine. So I'm gonna do the best I can to make little squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, oops, seven, eight, and nine. Now we have to make sure that our number is correct. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I do have nine squares, so I'm all set. How many triangles am I going to do? How many triangles? Let's see, that's right, I'm going to do one. So I'm gonna do one triangle. Now we're gonna count how many shapes there are all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this shows us that nine and one make ten. So I want to give you a thumbs up for doing so good on our new unit. Now I want to explain the next page. So I would like you to flip your paper over and grab your two colored crayons, okay? So let me just clear all my drawings. All right, so on our fluency page, it is combos to five, and our directions say color the circles to make the statement true. So instead of drawing objects, we're gonna color the circles the way so it shows the statement. So the first statement says three and two. So how many, I'm gonna, so the two colors I'm gonna use are red and yellow, red and yellow yellow. So the first color I'm going to use is red. What, how many circles am I going to color in red? Let's look. That's right, we're going to do three. So I'm going to do one, two, and three. Now how many am I going to do yellow? That's right, I'm going to do two. So I got one and two. So this drawing shows us that three and two make five. I'm gonna do one more with you to make sure you really understand it. So let's go back to red. How many circles am I gonna color red for this one? It says one and four. How many am I gonna color red? That's right, I'm gonna color one. One. How many am I going to color yellow. I'm going to color two, or not two. I'm going to color four. One, two, three, and four. So this one shows us one and four make five. So for the rest of the page, I want you to color the circles to match the math statements, okay? And then I want you to post your work below. Have fun and see you tomorrow.